Over £4,000 spent on this PC. 3090 graphics card, 6TB storage space, 4TB solid state drive for gaming and applications. Is this PC overkill? This is my new and latest PC review. <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a while, it's been a while. I've been playing on this PC for I'd say like three to four months. This PC is beast. A lot of people have been trying to get hold of this 3090 graphics card. People could get hold of the 3080, the 3070, the 3060s, but 3090 is pretty rare. And the price of it is pretty high. So a lot of people not been able to get the card, but I have. <laughs> here's, here's me playing some games as well. I want you lot to just actually look at the quality of it. It's just amazing. It just looks amazing. The games that you could play, you could play games in 4K. Don't get me wrong, there's some games that it sometimes kind of stutters a bit in some of the 4K games. Like I tried Tekken 7, but Tekken 7 is not really greatly optimized when it comes to playing games on PC. You can have like a beast PC, but it just doesn't matter. Like something is going wrong or frames might go down and stuff. So sometimes I run into one or two issues like that. But all the other games that I play, I've played Soul Calibur 6, Halo, Inf Halo Infinite, Halo, Killer Instinct, and there's so many other games that I've played and I've tried out and I'm like, yeah, nah, this game looks really good. Let's get into the specs. AMD 5950X powerful processor, 3090 graphics card, 6 terabyte storage space, 4 terabyte solid state drive for gaming and applications, and we have the Elgato 4K capture card for streaming, 64 gigabyte of RAM. We also have the external 4K capture for the next gen consoles. So we got the Fantex P600S case, so good, so slick. I was contemplating whether to get it in black or white, but I've got it in white with my logo on it. And yeah, it's got loads of 3.0 ports as well. And it's even got 3.0 ports at the front of the PC. Such a simple case, I like it. In terms of whether it's being water cooled or not, I've been told that it's an all-in-one, so yeah. I haven't had to top up any liquid or anything like that. I've just literally left it how it is. And then on top of it, I also added on the six terabyte WD black hard drive. So I had that in my old PC, but then I added it into the new PC. I don't know if you lot see my old PC, but you can go check that video out. I'll probably put it in the description down below. So I did that into this PC and I've also added the internal Elgato 4K capture card into this PC. This is to capture the camera that I'm speaking of now and it helps me capture the camera for streams and stuff like that as well. Let me know what you lot think, I wanna know. You can stop the video and be like, hey, I think this PC is okay or it's not that good and stuff, but let me know. And we've also got the King J logo etched onto the glass. So why did I get a 3090 graphics card in the PC? So like I said before, another reason why I got them is because if when they first announced them on Nvidia, they were showing like how strong they are. And you know, the 3060, the 3070, the 3080, and then the 3090. Obviously the 3090 is at the highest, 3080 being second, 3070 be being third, and 3060 being at the bottom. So I just said, oh, it's a no-brainer. I definitely want a 3090 at all costs. I doesn't matter. So that's the reason why I got it. And also as well for rendering times. Like rendering times on this card is absolutely crazy. Like, you know, I'm sometimes rendering videos for other social medias and it's just it's just like that. It doesn't take that long to render the videos. Just doing things in general is just a lot more easier. And my last PC, I had a 1080 graphics card and now I've got a 3090. So I feel like it was a big step up. And I kind of wanted something to showcase that, you know, I have been working hard, I have been saving and I wanna then just get something in reward for all of the hard work that I've been doing over the years. So yeah, there's that. And also I wanna start doing stuff in 4K. So like 4K gaming, 4K capture. And you know, I do have this camera as well that does do videos in 4k so i do want to in the future do 4k stuff 10 terabyte storage in theory it does seem like a lot but when you're doing 4k content 4k eats up so much space like i don't think you understand 4k is just especially like 4k 60 fps footage like that eats up a lot so i would just wanted to future proof this whole pc i wanted to make sure that i'm not struggling and oh, i have to get this on oh, i have to get that i wanted it to be future proof that 
if we've got this PC, that's it. One six terabyte Western Digital. So the hard drive is basically for uh, images, uh, videos, you know, any other things, resources that I need, I usually put them on there. But then the solid state drive is for like applications and stuff. Sometimes there's some stuff that I will keep on a solid state drive. Not to mention, I also have a portable hard drive as well. And I'm not gonna tell you how much storage that is. But yeah, we have a lot of storage and I just it's just to be safe. 4K gaming, 4K proof, and it's just future proof. And I would give advice of loading up your games on solid state drives because they work a lot faster than hard drive. Use your hard drive as just a storage space. Sometimes you get monitors where they start going a bit faulty or that you get dead pixel and stuff like that as well. But we also have a three-way setup as well. So, you know, we've got these two monitors, but we also have like the big monitor where we showcase that, you know, if there's guests, if we're playing like a game and there's like more than like, I don't know, say for example, if there's three guests, we've got one here watching me play. And then we've got like maybe two at the lounge area. They could actually watch the stream live in the lounge area over there. And yeah, I just feel like that's just, it's just a nice experience when you're here. Shout out to Real Menace as well for helping me on that as well. He's someone that is, he's really good when it comes to like the technical side of things. Yeah, I feel like 64 gigabytes of RAM is quite cool, but I also wanna get another 64, make it, you know, another big size, 128. I wanna make sure that it's okay. I also wanna get another six terabyte hard drive. I also wanna get like a NAS drive as well, but I don't think, I feel like that's overkill. But I wanna get a six terabyte hard drive again. So it will be 12 terabyte storage, and then it will also be four terabyte solid state drive. And then I think I'll be good. I don't think I need anything else other than that. It works really fast. And even booting up the PC, booting up the PC is just like this. Look, watch. Like, exactly. Like, booting up the PC is just crazy. So, this has been my PC review. I hope you lot enjoyed it. If there's any other things you lot wanted to ask me, please let me know in the comment section down below. We can probably do a part two. If there's anything else, like, even just, rem even if you lot want to know, like, certain other questions, just let me know and I, I will definitely get back to you. But other than that, it's been your boy King J. Really, really appreciate your support. Engage with me so I know what you are thinking. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Remember to subscribe and that thumbs up because you can't do thumbs down. Other than that, take it easy everyone. Peace.